All right, trying out some blue-black. Uh, this is blue-black without the bad cards, a.k.a. Invasion of Amonkek. Not a big fan of that card. What I am a big fan of is Crypticote over it, because Crypticote is busted, helps you play longer games against the other mid-range decks, hard to kill, um, just a really good card all around. I think it's just basically better than Invasion in almost every facet. And we're going a little bit heavier on Gix here, to, uh, you know, along with the fact that we're playing two Fairy Dream Thief to help the Gixes along. Also, it's kind of nice to play Dream Thief anyways, because it just gives you more one mana cards that Crew Schooner. And a lot of people seem to have forgotten that this card is still legal in Standard, and I don't really understand why none of the blue-black decks are playing it, because it's just really good. I don't, I don't know, I, I don't need to tell you that Ledger Shredder is a good card. Yes, it dies to cut down, I get that, but like, if you can get them to tap out and go Shredder, Spell, Discard, make it a 2-4, they can no longer cut down your Ledger Shredder, so it's like, you can kind of play around with it a little bit against cut down. Uh, three Shieldred, no Archfiends, one Gixxas come in at the top end, four go for the throw, two make disappear. I don't know, I don't know if I like these make disappears. Because, like, you'll notice we don't really have any other Flash stuff. So, I don't know if these should be in the deck or what they should be instead. But, yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to see. Did I lose the Gamba? No, we... I, I paid out correctly. Pretty sure I paid out correctly, right? I lost the match. <laughs> don't, don't gaslight me. Oh, I don't know what they bet. Uh, yeah, so not sure about these Make Disappears... Uh, other than that, everything else looks pretty good. Sideboard, we got, like, a bunch of three Deluges for the Convoke matchup. Some more stuff for the Grindy matchup. Tidebinder, in case people still play Domain. Uh, same with Disdainful Shrug Duress. You know, we, we're respecting Domain quite a bit in the sideboard, even though there's been a lot less Domain. Yeah, there's no Mastermind. It's possible that Mastermind could be better than Make Disappear, but I like Shredder more than Mastermind, and I like Scooter more than Mastermind. That's kind of where, where I'm at. Um, I'm not I'm not super high on Mastermind. That card's okay, but I'm not super duper high on it. Chat, Monka S, I'm scared. Number 52. What do you think number 52 is playing? Well, hopefully it's a deck that loses to Bat and the Shield Red. Yeah, I could see playing Malcolm over Mastermind. Malcolm. <clears throat> the old Malcolm. I changed my uh, title because we're not playing Boros. Uh, Demir mid parentheses, no bad cards. Other parentheses, invasion of Amonkek. All right, uh, here is my bat. What do you got over there? This is a blue white control player? Of course it is. Can we get some bedges? Every single person, just spam Bedge, please and thank you. Bedge, 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 Bedge. Alright, surely they can't beat the Shielded, right? Don't find Sunfall, please. Oh, okay. Well. It's not bad. <laughs> Guess we Gix this turn. We can even go Shredder Gix. Just hope they don't find a Wrath. Why are they main phasing that? Oh, they're worried about me having a counter spell. Sure, I guess that's fair. Okay. So now we can do a Wrath check, and then probably slam Gix. Take Deluge, right? Yeah, I think we just slam Deluge there. Uno. Alright, draw a card. Okay. <clears throat> Doom bat. Any doom bats? Any bats in the chat? It's kind of cringe. It 
It's not a horrendous draw. If six mana. Would you ever cut down Shredder, loot, discard, cut down? Is that crazy? MTG Forest, thank you for the 19 month resub. Welcome back. It says cheers for all the standard content. It's very helpful for my prep for my RC. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're glad you're enjoying it, Forest. Thanks again for the resub. I weirdly enough, I think that play is right. Because, like, these cutdowns are not going to do anything. There you go. I just, I don't know what else these cutdowns are doing, you know. Do it on their turn if they make Disappear. Yeah, but they're just not going to play to make Disappear. There's no way they play a spell pre-combat. They're just taking? Uh, <laughs> okay. Did not expect that. What the fuck? All right, well, go. Proceed. Uh, I'll keep that. Your turn. I guess I could have played Schooner there. I don't need to hold up Double Make Disappear. Could have maybe played Schooner. Why did they do this in combat? That's... What? They should have 100% done that in combat. That seems crazy. Yeah, they could like if they were gonna do this, they could have just done it and tried to find a get lost, right? Uh, we have to casualty, right? How much mana do they have? One, two, three. Yeah, we have to casualty sack dream thief. Uh, well, actually, I could have double make disappeared instead. <laughs> okay. Uh, my turn. Yeah, I guess maybe I was supposed to double make disappear instead. Because then I go double make disappear, discard spell, that's three. Three, six, and then keep the dream thief in play, that's seven. Yeah, I should have I should have double make disappeared. That was bad. Because now I can't kill them. I mean, it's fine. I can attack for five, play schooner, hold up Mirex, and that's probably good enough. Yeah, this should this should still be good enough. Put them at two. Mm. One, two, three, four, five mana. So if I okay, <laughs> I was gonna say I can go make disappear sack shredder, but then they just don't pay right. Whatever, they're off it. <laughs> <laughs> They're off it anyways. Alright, winning that game with, you know, seven removal spells is pretty impressive. We drew three of them, right? We drew two cutdowns and a go for the throat. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, is that it? Aquasot's bad. <clears throat> How good is command against blue white? It's not that good, right? Just cut command. Call it a day. Yeah, so the reason I don't think command is very good, because... Um, all of their Wraths Exile. It's good against Get Lost, I guess, but if they have Sunfall, then you can't get stuff back with Command. <clears throat> you want to keep it Go for the Throat for Shark? What would you want to keep Go for the Throat over? Like, none of my none of the cards in my deck are bad, right? All these cards are bangers. Dream Thief? Sure, I could buy that. Dream Thief is pretty low impact. <clears throat> Cut a Cloak. We do have a lot of threes. Like one cloak, one dream thief. Or cryptic coat. Play two. Alright, I'll buy that. Because like if we draw go for the throat and it's not good, we can always loot it away to shredder. Cloak isn't as good against um against lockdown. Not that I'm saying it's bad against them, it's obviously not, but <laughs> It is a, It doesn't line up super duper well against lockdown. The fifteen angel sideboard, dude. I saw somebody do that. I saw. I saw that on Twitter. It was. It was fucking wild. That shit was crazy. What the deuce?
Mm. I think I'm taking March. And then I'm just going to jam Gix next turn. Actually, maybe I jam Code first. I might jam Code before Gix. It's a little bit better against Wrath. Yeah, let's play Code first. Yeah, I don't I don't remember where it was from. It might have been from some kind of like Japanese tournament or something, but somebody posted a list on Twitter that was like blue white control proper, and then they just had 15 angels in their sideboard. It was like four Giada, four was it like was it Giada? Um the Flash one, Aaron or whatever, Aaron and Giada. They just had 15 angels in their sideboard. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Take Sunfall here, right? Take Sunfall, play Gix Attack. Yeah, I like it. Deluge. Yeah, the other line was just take Deluge and not play the Gix. Maybe that's better. Like, this line is a bit riskier if they find Second Wrath. If they don't, we win, but... I think I'm not going to play Shredder. Just taking it? No, right, deal. I do not have to play spells. Should not have played my land first. CMC is the face down. It is uh, zero. So they can march for one. But I guess they would still have to pay the ward two on it. Deck. Surely they're going to cast something this turn. Alright, fine. And she told me she had a gun. She has a gun? Uh, Shelly hold up stroke or Shredder map map hold up stroke? I think I like Shredder map map. It's worse against lockdown though. What if I just didn't play anything? Just do this. Yeah, I know we know they have a lockdown, so I, I don't really want to play the shredder here. I think I just want to do this. I'm into this. <laughs> okay. I mean, I would have liked to have drawn a spell, but it's fine. Not complaining. Sure. I'm just going to pick it up. That doesn't even matter that much. I return. I was going to say, do they have March? That is an interesting draw. How much mana do I have? Three, four, five, six, seven. So I can go, what, three, Shredder, Bat, Hold Up, Stroke. Yeah, Shredder, Bat sounds good to me. Just don't play the Coat. The other line is Shredder, Coat. But not playing the Bat is worse if they have another lockdown. So let's just go Shredder, Bat. Bat Coat. I kind of want to get the Shredder going. I want to loot away these extra lands. No, there's almost no circumstance I attack with the land this turn. Uh, I'm, I'll fight over that. Considering they're now tapped out. I'm sorry, what? Uh, well, I guess I'll take one of those. I think it's a visual bug. Yeah, this has to be a visual bug. I mean, do I care? I'm not sure that I care that much. Three, four, seven. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, the card that I manifested was a second coat. That's why. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. What does this thing do on flip? Draw two, discard two. You can have blue nits. You can show up as opposed to have ward one. Minus three, temp energy. It doesn't even do anything. Like, I'm trying to think if I want to hold up Odawara, because I can in combat Odawara the Planeswalker after they flip it. But I just don't know if I care that much, right? Dead to six two twos. I mean, I'm just going to attack them next turn for lethal damage, right? I'm attacking them for three. They're going to five. And then I just have lethal in play, right? Let's take this. All right. You may flip your invasion. I'm not sure this planeswalker is good enough. So I guess they can loot and try to find a wrath. Is that their plan? No. Shuffling a non-land permanent with mana value X or less. Shuffling the Shredder? Uh, sure. Okay. Now what? Uh, what's under code? Oh, it's a Tide Binder. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> Do I flip that up into turn? But then it wouldn't have ward. I mean, I guess ward doesn't matter, right? It doesn't enter. Yeah, but I get the, the extra damage. I'm not sure that the extra damage matters that much. Might as well, though, right? The ward is pretty irrelevant. Wait, no, 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 no. Chat, it, it doesn't work like that. If you flip Tidebinder, you don't get the ETB. No, that's not how it works. You don't get the ETB off Tidebinder, chat. Shuffle, huh? You sure about that? Sure about that? So... I do have two anchorages, which is a little cringe. So, if I send everything at them, they fire up anchorage, I go for the throat. They fire up the other anchorage. Two, three, four, five, six. They block... What? Deep Cavern Bat? Yeah, I guess I can bounce one. Sure, I can Odawara one. I don't know. Do I have enough mana to... I don't think I have enough mana to Odawara, Go for the Throat, and Shredder, because I would need... Or, in Shieldred, four, ten, eight. But I'm just going to go for the Throat one now. Well, I wanted to play the Shield Red. That's kind of what I was saying. MTGKC, thank you for the raid. I think I might have had enough if I played the Shield Red first, right? Because if I had played the Shield Red first, then I could have got a discount on the Odawara. No, I guess I was still one minute short. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I got punished for flipping, huh? <laughs> Remember when I said I wasn't going to get punished for flipping up the Tidebinder? <laughs> if it had Ward 2 on, they would have died. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Hmm. No reason not to flip, huh? I didn't think about double activation plus get lost, but yeah, I got, I got mega punished. No way to avoid this. We didn't have lethal. They were at five, and I had a three, two, and two, one, once. It was still five damage. I did it. I did still have lethal. I mean, what could they have here? Uh, trying to think. 
They kill bat, get normalized back. Emperor. So if they emperor, they gain two, go to five. Yeah, but if I map and hit a spell, then that's still lethal, right? One, two, one, two, three, four. No, because then they can counter my shieldred. Kind of a tricky spot. Because I can't afford them. Oh, what if I... No, 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 no. So I, if I hit a spell, I just do it onto these two. Because then they can't emperor this, right? Yeah. No, this is good. This should work. Do it onto this. Yeah, and see if we hit a spell. <coughs> Fuck. So now we still do Shredder. Graveyard that. So now if... One, two, three, four, seven... So the Emperor of this go to 5, go to 2. We can shield pay for normalize. Okay, that should be fine then. I think. Okay. Well, then it's just lethal, right? Easy. Easy dubs. Easy dubs. What's up, Boses? should have mapped but it doesn't matter they're dead they top thick emperor oh true they could they could draw emperor yeah that's fair they have to draw emperor because they don't have enough mana to deluge into it but they could draw emperor yeah they draw emperor they have no outs uh so they draw emperor no because they have the anchorage right i guess they don't have enough mana emperor kill bad what about this thing? No, yeah, we're dead. They can emblem. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. God damn it. <sighs> Control players never emblem here. God, we actually lost to the fucking invasion. <laughs> I can't believe we lost to that card. <laughs> All right, game three, game three, game three, game three. Surely I can't lose to the invasion again, right? That that just can't happen. Yeah, that is a good point. I also should have won that game. I just flipped the code for no reason. It's all good. We'll get him in game three. This should be a really good matchup for us. Only we had undermine. This hand is cracked, by the way. This hand is completely absurd. So there's no there's no point in taking a counter spell because they have two anyways. So we just take March, right? And if they draw an untapped land, then I think I just won't play a spell. But if they draw a tap land, they lose. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Maybe if they draw Get Lost right now. <coughs> nope, the game's over. Man, Gix is kind of a fucked up card, huh? Alright, cool. <laughs> Good deck. Good deck. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. $700 card, by the way. What? Gix? Yeah, I, I know, because I just bought one not too long ago. <laughs> I had to buy a third one for this weekend. What if we added a bad card to no bad cards, blue-black? Are you considering suggesting Invasion of Amonkhet? I would never. I would never. This card, like, this card is... I, I don't know if people need to hear this, but this is just a better card than Invasion. In basically every metric... It's so much better. Do you bat on two or do you schooner on two? Uh, not that I'm aware of, Ethan. This is my inexperience with blue black. I feel like it's schoon. Yeah, I'm gonna schoon. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
And then we can go bat next turn, crew schooner hit. Okay, they notably do not have binding mana up. Do I even bat? What's the point of batting here? Like, what three drop am I scared of? Lockdown? It's so much more mid efficient to code here, though. Stop a stomper. Sometimes they main deck lockdown. All right, I'll play bat. It's a little bit safer. I can use my mana too because I have the map token. Huh. Uh, we take invasion, right? Yeah, I think we take invasion. And then I'm going to map onto the Siren. Not migration. <clears throat> That's a weird one, because I can top it and draw three next turn. Which is probably good enough, right? Yeah, that's got to be good enough. I think. Like, sure, it's going to die to the Wrath, but I, who cares when I'm drawing three cards, right? They're just going to be so far behind by the time they cast the Wrath. And then I can follow up with Coat, Crew Schooner. Like, they're just dead, right? They're basically just dead. Unless they draw exactly Binding. Okay. Well, yeah, I, th I think they're just dead then. I'll even Gix first in case I hit a tap land. A Bazinga. That's why we Gix first. Draw. I draw. I'll take another draw. Yeah, this game's Jover. Should be Jover. Yeah, if they find double binding, maybe. Like, now we just... Oh, I was going to say we Shelly, but no. Now we just go code hold up, make disappear. Now we don't Shelly. Who cares about Depop? Not me. They're going to seven. That's close. They go to seven. Next turn, we go Shieldred. I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? I think I'd just rather just draw a Counterspell. It doesn't really accomplish that much. Yeah, we don't need it. <laughs> if they Sunfall, we just pick up the... We just let Sunfall resolve and pick up the coat. Like, they just can't win this game. Yeah, I told you, coat... Like, imagine... Hear me out for a second, chat. Imagine if this Crypto Coat was Invasion of Amonkhet. <laughs> My opponent would be at 13, and I would not have a 4-3 in play. Like, Amonkhet is so bad. I don't I don't know, man. Maybe Amonkhet's not a horrendous card, but this card is just so much better. It's so much better. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that resolves. Doesn't matter. They're dead anyways. Mm -mm 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 plays Atraxa. If they played Atraxa, I, I could let them play a free Atraxa this turn. It still wouldn't matter. Like, it's on the house. You can just have it, you know? I do not care. Weren't they just dead on board to the reef? I don't even need this. Six out of ten BM. I mean, they're the ones that didn't scoop. I don't know. This is 60. How's that look, chat? No go for the throats. Do I want to play like one or two go for the throats in case, under the, uh, you know, as a panic button if they happen to resolve a Traxa? Nah, Aklazot's not good against them. Their Wraths are Sunfalls. I guess it's okay against Depopulate, but it's too slow. The Propicize midrange deck with a good domain matchup. I mean, post board, it, it's got to be good, right? Like four bat, three duress, four counter spells, three tide binders. This has to be a favorable matchup post board. I do kind of like a couple of go for the throats. <laughs> Pretty good pre board. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't know what they're boarding in. What if we tried go for the throat over Dream Thief? Just two to kill the angels. Two is good, and like I don't mind. I don't mind having go for the throat in my deck with Shredder because if it's bad, I could just loot it away. 
Although, cutting the Dream Thief does make the Shredders worse, so it's kind of a trade-off. It's <laughs> a lot of Sirens. Uh, I could Duress a Beanstalk. Would I want to Duress a Beanstalk? Probably, yeah. But I'm not going to. I'll play Siren. Quick thoughts on a Pioneer Brew. I can take a look, Stu. Oh. Well, that might change things. I mean, it's really bad if they have Lockdown. They don't have it. <clears throat> they just don't have it. Don't play a Plains. Don't play a Plains. Don't play a Plains. Thank you. Um, actually, it is a planes. Uh, um, actually... Why not Duress first? Because they're way more likely to cast the Binding on Shredder if I cast Duress first. And if they have Binding and I Duress first, then I don't get the loot. Alright, I think I'm good in Sirens. Yeah, I'm good on Sirens. Ayo. I mean, they're just going to play Archangel next turn, right? Kind of kind of cringe. Hopefully they don't and we can bat it. Why did they port in Jace? Jace seems awful against me. Right? There's no way that Jace is good against me, right? Oh, I don't have a land. Never mind. All right. Well, we have to bat the Angel. The Archangel, I think. Yeah, let them have Jace. This feels bad, but... They don't have a land, and if they draw a land, we can hold up... We need to find a land to be able to hold up Tidebinder for a track, so... Jace is their Alpen con. Yeah, but it's, like, just not that great against a bunch of Flyers. Like, it's not good on this board. My deck is all Flyers. Wait, they just dome shot at me for 15? Okay, I'm with ya. I'm with ya. Well, not trying a land fucking sucks. We're dead if they draw land. Nothing I can do about it. Chat, I need you all to collectively preage that, inshallah, my opponent will not draw land. Or they'll draw a tap land. Your turn! Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yes. Let's go. They see chat. You preached and it worked, you know? Cause one of us is going, one of us is going down and I'll tell you, it's not me. This thing have reach. No, nice four, four. I would like to draw land here. Because they can go for Breach, and I can't Tidebinder Breach. Um, this is going to look weird. I'm going to discard Gix. I, I, I would discard second Tidebinder, but here's the thing. If I, okay, well, that makes it easy. But had I discarded Tidebinder, then if, if they know of the existence of Tidebinder, they might, they're more likely to go for Breach in that case. So just like a small thing. But it turns out it didn't matter at all. Now we can discard Tidebinder. If right now, because one of us is going. One of us is going down. They could draw Wrath. <laughs> they could also draw a Forest. <clears throat> Checkmate with Shelly. Yeah, I guess that's true. Even if they draw a Wrath, we have Shelly, so it probably doesn't matter. Dude, this deck feels really fucking good. All right, I keep this. Yeah, did you know that all you had to do to win in standard was just not put bad cards in your deck? I bet you didn't know that. 
What is Sundown Pass? Could be could be Boros. Convoke. Ooh, do I want that? It would be really good to have it this turn. But I'm not sure that it's good next turn. Because next turn I'm going to just attack for two gigs. Yeah, I think it's a graveyard. <clears throat> Bro, you got Ledger Shredder in your deck? Yeah. I bet you didn't know that that card was legal and standard because nobody plays it for some reason. <laughs> Ledger Shredder is a really good card. I don't know if you know that. It's an, ex it's an excep exceptionally powerful magic card. And, like, don't give me the cutdown argument because you can just go turn three, Shredder, one drop, get a counter on it, now I play her on cutdown. Like, it's still fine. It's just a really, really sick card. How do you like the one drop fairy? So the one drop fairy is good with Gix. Uh, it's another thing to crew schooner, and it's also just like pretty good at double spelling with Shredder. So it's definitely the worst card in the deck, but it fills a role. Like it fills a, a relatively important role. Yeah, I drew the one of command, by the way. Okay. Aos. I think Monocorn is unplayable. I hate that card. All right, what's the play this turn? Probably just attack for two. Go from there. Okay, well, that's the play. I have located the play. I have now located the play. I have played a couple of different blue black decks. Like I tried the version with invasion. I've tried I've tried a couple of different blue black builds, and this is so far, this has felt like the best one by far. Okay. So wipe the board, make you sack knight. GG. Okay. Five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, go to six. I mean They still do have five cards in hand. Game's not over. I probably wouldn't play the case. I just wanted to try one, but it didn't come up that often. 8, 12, go to 6. I could go counters on Siren, pop, they keep Knight. <clears throat> I'm at 6. I hit for 7, they go to 7. And then I gain 4, go to 10. How likely is it they can deal 10 with just Knight Errant in play? Probably not that likely, right? I think that's my plan. Because I need to keep the Siren in play. Yeah, so we go counters here, lifelink, blow up the small creatures, hit for 7, they go to 7, I go to 10. Just Recruiter. So it's 9, 5. Yeah, that's true. I mean, how am I winning the game if I, if I lose my Siren and don't gain life this turn? Right? Like, the other option... Well, okay, I could go counters on this and blow up the board, but then I lose the Siren. I don't think I have another option. Yeah, I don't think I have another option. All right, do it. Do it. Just hold the coat back. Nah, because then I don't have a two-turn clock. I, I need to get this game over with. This line does beat everything but Recruiter, right? It certainly beats that. <laughs> Definitely beats that. Unless they have a red source? If they had a red source, they can go Epicure plus Gleeful. Uh, I, don't, I didn't need this, but they're dead anyways. All right. I attack. Mill you. What you got over there? Oh, they're playing green. Good to know. Not that that's going to change my sideboarding, but they are playing green. Yeah, I think that line was pretty good. Okay, so Deluge coming in. Tidebinder what? Tidebinder is good against... It's really expensive and slow is the problem. 
But it is good against Recruiter, Case, Evangelist, kind of, Knight. Eh, I don't know. It's really slow, though, is the problem, right? Maybe it's okay on the play, but not on the draw. <clears throat> yeah, it could be better than Gix. That's a good point. How do you plan to get all the physical cards for the deck you choose in time? Well, I'm going to ideally choose a deck tonight. I'm going to make my final decision tonight, and I'm going to make an order for a vendor and do on-site pickup. Because there's like 10 vendors there, and I, 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 could, I could just go to their website and put an on-site pickup order. I have I own most of these cards. The only thing I'm missing is I think all I need is coats. I have these. I have these. I have shredders. I have the lands. I I literally only need coats. And maybe like one I think I need reefs. Yeah, I I have marshes, I have rivers, but I'm missing reefs and coats. How about put up a poll for chat which deck to play? No, cuz chat'll sabotage me. All right, what are we cutting? I don't know. All my cards are good. Chat help out. I don't know what to cut. Gix, maybe? How good is Make Disappear? Make Disappear is kind of mid. Got Dream Thief. I don't mind Bad God. As, like, a way to stabilize after a sweeper. Maybe, like, two Tidebinders? Try that. See how that goes. <clears throat> I would like to vote for Caves for your standard deck. Where do I vote? You vote... Uh, you vote by going to where it says uh, subscribe and you click on that little thing that says subscribe with Prime. Or if that option is not available, you can also click where it says subscribe for four ninety nine. That is That is the official way on how to vote. And then once you click on that, it'll like ask you for it'll ask you for some information and uh, you know you can go from there. I, I mean, I don't like the sand, but I want to go to five. Synthetic one, thank you for the prime sub. One vote. I don't know what you're voted for, but you have one vote. <laughs> Mono blue, let's go. Can I make a plea to play only two reef with this deck? I went down to two and blue black was very happy. Uh you can make a plea, but I think I like three. There's not that many tap lands in this deck. It doesn't oh, that's a good draw. That was a necessity. Hmm. Kind of wish I had played Go for the Throat now, huh? Well, I guess I'll take this. Doesn't matter, they can still double spell. How do you feel about small bad in this matchup? I don't I don't think they're chat, is there a single matchup where you would ever cut this card? I don't think so. It, it's just, it's an uncuttable card, I think. Ha, they can't play Bunnicorn because they named human. Everybody ha, point and laugh. Ha, nice cavern. Yeah, I'm going to kill the warden, I think. It's good, but it's awkward against blue-white control. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I would never cut it against blue-white. I mean, maybe you can make an argument to trim on bat if you know for a fact they're bringing in lockdown, which they probably should be doing anyways. Ginger always cuts the boats. In in this matchup, yeah, I could I could see cutting boat in this matchup. I could buy that. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like your your life EV is a lot better when you do that, Pan the Gypsy? Is their hand again? They have this shit. They have this shit. Kind of want to block. I don't know what else I'm doing with this 1-1. One, one. I guess mapping. Okay. Well, I can map onto that. Find land 5 for Bat God. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, and you kind of you kind of are on the back foot the entire time in this matchup. Until that like one turn where you pivot and turn the corner. But for the most part, you're you're on defense a lot in this matchup. It's not great. 
Go land, bat god. They send everything, frenzy bat god. I mean, what's my other play, right? I have nothing else to do. <clears throat> Need to find one of those deluges. If we find a deluge, I think we're in an okay spot. Tashana flip bat. Could have had what, a 3 2 lifelinker? 3 2 lifelinker still doesn't block that well, though, right? I might just want to trade for Questing Druid. Though it looks like they have another spell. Jesus Christ. Alright, well. 6, 10, 13, we get a 1. I don't think we have outs. Triple Frenzy kind of hard to beat, huh? <clears throat> Triple Frenzy, ah? Huh? Hold on, I gotta message somebody real quick. Alright, game three. Game three. Tough one. Should we cut these boats? Make Disappear is probably a little bit better on the play, right? <clears throat> Could do like two Make Disappear, third Tidebinder, and the Tidebinder plays a little bit better with the Make Disappear since I want to hold up mana for it. No path. We have Deluge instead of path. It's really awkward to play path in this deck when you have Siren, Shredder, Bat. Like, it, path is super awkward in decks like this. I mean, it, it is, like, Deluge is still bad with Bat Siren, but at least it doesn't kill Shredder. I'm gonna try this on the play. Maybe, like, fourth cut down. Let's try fourth cut down. Cut down is a lot better against their version, because you can maybe snipe a Kellen. Um, if you can kill some of their other stuff, you can maybe snipe a Bunnicorn with it. Thoughts on Clubber? I think Clubber is worse than most of the other three mana minus two minus twos. Keep this. Sounds fine. Thoughts on Flubber? No thoughts on Flubber. Any Flubbers? Any 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 Flubbers in chat? Do we have any Flubbers? Any Flubs? Take Gleeful, right? Oh, they don't have red mana. Wait. <laughs> Wait, they don't have red mana. I guess I'm not taking Gleeful then. Surely they don't peel a red Saurus, right? Nice. Still taking Gleeful. Yeah, but the thing is I give them a scry. I don't wanna I don't want to give them a single scry. That's a good draw. So let's go counter here. <clears throat> or if they get lost, I guess. Uh, I'll keep that. I think I'll be keeping that one. Yeah, if they brick again this turn, this game should be over. I mean, they're getting two looks, so they probably won't brick, but... Even now, though, if they go Red Source uh, Epicure... <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. How could you take a deck that already has a horrendous mana base and add a third color to it and expect to ever cast your spells? What the fuck? I mean, I get it. They're just cutting planes for, for Razor Verge Thicket, so they're just playing less basics. But still, I mean, come on. Come on. Who thought that was a good idea? All right, I'll play this card. What are your thoughts on this card? Some people have too much hubris, correct? If you just go, like, uh, Hot Girls, if you just Google search Magicon Chicago, you should be able to find it. It shouldn't be too difficult to find. Why are we still playing? I don't know why we're still playing. 
So they have to upkeep, tap out for Frenzy. Yeah, you have no outs. <clears throat> Easy. Top 200. Let's go. Pause champion. Let's go. Don't forget, chat, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can link your Twitch account to your Amazon account and unlock one free subscription every single month to any streamer of your choice. Don't forget to use those Amazon Primes. It is the best way to support the stream and the content. Esper, mm, 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 mm. what you got over there? <clears throat> Show me what you're working with. Uh, Ao. Ao. True, Mighty Squee. Thank you so much for the two month resub. Welcome back, Mighty Squee. Good attack here. I think they trade. I don't really care if they trade. Yeah, I don't think they ever trade there. You like invasion personally? Ban him. Ban him. Get him out. Ban him. Ban him. Ban him. Banned. You know, I should I should ban the word invasion from my chat. Banned. Banned word. Oh, my arena's lagging again. Arena, please? Uh, this is super awkward, because, like... Oh, man. If I go for the throat now to play around Counterspell, they can just go land Shieldred. I guess I can upkeep Urtai if that happens. Yeah, I'm, like, kind of incentivizing them to tap out, which I have the Urtai for the Shieldred, so it's not that bad. Meta Magic Missile, thank you so much for the six-month resub. Welcome back, Missile. Thank you for using that, Prime. That is certainly the punishment, huh? That is what we call a punishment. It's what happens when you make a play and you end up getting punished for it. That's what happens. It's just like, my cards lined up so awkwardly this game. Uh, why don't we cast go for the throne on our turn? Because I was going to do it before they attacked anyways, right? I think I have to let them... Oh, God, this is so sick. Well, I guess I could just let them have one more Rafine hit, make disappear the Shelly, and then Urtai the Rafine. Yeah, I think that's my plan. Because they're going to cast Shelly pre-combat, I'm going to make disappear it, and then, yeah, I think that's my plan. And I have to save the Urtai for the onboard Rafine. I think. Winning the race? Yeah, barely. Barely winning the race. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm currently winning the race, but not for much longer, you know. That's, weirdly enough, kind of a sick draw. Because now I can hit for four... Play Siren, have a chump blocker, and hold up Urtai. That was actually a pretty good draw. Kind of telegraphing what I have by not using the map token, but it's fine. I should counter this, right? Yeah, I should. What the fuck? Why are they attacking with both? Huh? I guess that means they drew a removal spell? I'll take seven. <laughs> okay. All right, sure. So, paid actor, or... Yeah, I'm beginning to like Urtai a little bit more the more I play with it. I don't mind it. It's okay. It's better than I thought it was. I was, like, not a big fan of it, but... Maybe it's better as, like, a one-of, because the second copy is kind of whatever. Alright, Esper. Esper, cut down, get in. Gix Command, get in. Bat God, get in. 
Dream Thief out. I am kind of missing the schooners, though. I want to add the schooners back in. I don't know what to cut, but I want to play the schooners. I think on the draw... Oh, this is 60. Right, okay, we're good. Out with four bad cards. Well, you see, the thing is, Sir Eccles, we're not playing bad cards because we're not playing Invasion. That's the whole point of not playing Invasion is we want to cut the bad cards. I don't want to add the bad cards back in after we've already cut them. That's just not how that works, you know? <clears throat> You don't see any bad cards. Right, because there's no invasions, you know? If we had invasions, then then we're talking. Now we had, now we got bad cards. I keep doing this every time, by the way. I don't know why I'm casting the siren there. It's so dumb. And I just like I forget it every time. Like obviously I'm not supposed to cast the siren there. Right, I'm supposed to hold up cut down for their bat, but I just do it. I just instinctively I play my card, you know. I can't tell you why I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. It's really dumb. I keep that. I think this beer looks good this game. I was going to say they could have no more lies from my bat, but they left Plaza up instead of the Caves of Coilos. <laughs> oh, really? I mean, they know about the Make Disappear. I'm just going to use it now. It's not the best val It's not the best use of my, like, not the best value, but it's fine. I'm just going to bat them anyways. What you got over there? Well, fuck me, huh? Well, fuck me. I guess that's, you know, I mean, it makes sense as to why they wanted to play into the big disappear. Basically force me to force me to cast it there or bait me to cast it and then unlock both their four drops. Because in the event where I don't cast make disappear, they can just go hold up mastermind and pay for the make disappear. They don't have to do anything. Now we basically can't win this game. All right. Yeah, there is no reason to play this one out. All right. Game three. Game three. Uh, done. How is Cope been? Cope's like the best card in the deck. That card is so broken. I cannot imagine playing this deck without Cope. All right, so put this back. I think, okay, we learned, Chad. I learned. Don't play the one drop on one. We have officially learned. Okay, well, now I can play it on two, because I have a second one. Now I don't mind playing it. Do you think someone actually has a chance to win an Arski with red deck wins? I mean, that red deck wins has a chance to win anything. Like, it, it always has a chance to do well, because the deck is... Um, very, like, when, when you're running hot with mono red, it's, it's, sometimes it's really hard to lose, so it definitely has the chance to win. I think you're probably lower odds than most of the other decks, but it's got a chance, right? It's always got a chance. Sure. Can I draw some non-LAN cards, please? Any non-LAN cards to locate? Non-land cards. Non-land cards, please. Get a cut down for me. Well, they would have used cut down on Rafine. God damn it, dude. Not Rafine, though. Shredder. Maybe I should have Murex instead of mapping there. Although, if they don't have second counter spell, we're kind of vibing. Sure. 
Is Coat worth Rafine good? Yeah, I think if you're playing Esper, you probably should be playing Coat too. <laughs> I should have cast that. I don't know why I cast that. They definitely have a counter spell. Yeah. Fuck. I debated myself. Why did I cast that? That was stupid. Yeah, I should have just passed. Could have Murexed. No, Murex. I could have maybe Reef there, too. I mean, we're chilling. It's going to be hard for them to beat this Murex. Because they have to play into the Make Disappear at some point. I counter your spell. Is it time for Reef Beatdowns? Oh. No, it's definitely not time for Reef Beatdowns. Time for that. I'll play that card. I'll draw two. Draw two. Draw one. Mm, draw two. Mm, play an untapped land. So I can hold up Urtai and Murex. That Moxfield link might be a, might be slightly outdated. Should I make a token? They've already gone through two go for the throats, right? Also, if they go for the throat the Gix, it's not even that bad. They can't Emperor the Gix. So I think if they're holding up Emperor, they, yeah, that's exactly what they're holding up. Because if they have Emperor, they can't afford to cast the Emperor there. They have to wait till I attack. Right, yeah. Like, now nah, this game's just fucking over, right? Easy. Dude, Gix is so fucking broken. <laughs> Whenever you get to spots like this with Gix, it feels unreal. God damn. God damn. I want to add boats back in. What do we cut for boats? <clears throat> I want to cut something for boats. Uh, this hand is... This hand is really sus. <laughs> so, cut the Murex for a reef, or... So, cut the Murex for a reef. This hand is so close. Is it close? Maybe it's not close. I want to keep it. <clears throat> That's why you play two schooner. It's got to be a mall, right? I don't know. It's all mall. Okay, this hand's the nuts. Not the nuts, but way better. Much, much better. How has the deck performed? It's felt incredible. I might just lock it in for Chicago. I'm very, very close to just locking it in. It's felt very, very good. Pan shot first. I'm sure that's a reference, but I don't get it. Hmm. I'm going to choose to be mana efficient here. This could come back to bite me, but... I really just want to be mana efficient so I can try to double spell next turn, maybe. I guess with Make Disappear, I'm probably not double spelling. Okay, never punished. Well, I guess I can double spell. Not necessarily the way that I wanted to double spell, but hold up Make Disappear. Shit. Did you ever sack the Shredder here? <laughs> it is a lot worse than No More Lies. <sighs> Can we main deck negate? I kind of think we have to sack too. It feels really bad, but I think we have to. Spell Pierce is busted right now. Gives us more one drops for Shredder too. We could try Spell Pierce over Make Disappear. I mean, it kind of would have been the same thing in that instance, but I'm down to try Spell Pierce. That card seems absurd against the blue white decks, like blue white control. I buy it.
Yeah. <laughs> just drop one spell pierce against Blue Way. They're just like, uh, how do I win? I have been defeated. I could Odawara, but I think I have to try and draw a card here. Just like hope they can't kill me next turn. Good card, by the way. Good card. I feel like they're supposed to do that in combat to try and find get lost, but maybe not. Yeah. Splash spell pierce in mono red. I'm into it. I'm not opposed to it. Okay. Kind of surprised they're not playing a spell there. I guess that I, I guess I'm giving it away that I have cut down because I got the priority window back. It's super awkward though, because like the way that my mana is lined up, if I don't cast the cut down now, I have to just risk hoping to draw an untapped land to be able to Odawara the Jin, and I think I have to take that risk. Okay, I'll attack first. Can I counter this? You have legendary? Oh, that is true. I could bounce the Haughty Jin now. Counter hope to rip a land. So here's the issue, right? If I counter this, they're just going to go put sh Shredder, block Gix, cast Otherworldly Gaze, loot, discard spell, 2-4, block 3-3. Three, three. So unless I cut down first... But if I cut down first, they just gaze in response and still discard a spell to make it a 2-4. So, like, there's not really a good way to do this. I think what I maybe have to do is bounce the Jin, let this die, hope they play end step gaze. Then I cut down the Shredder. Well, I shouldn't cut down first, right, Snook? Because if I cut down first, they play Gaze. So I think I have to bounce first. Because I bounce now, they cast Gaze, then I respond, now I cut down, right? Still not a very good spot to be in. And Mentor too. <clears throat> Why did they gaze in response? Because they needed the mana discount from the Jin. If they didn't gaze in response, the Jin gets bounced and they can't cast the gaze. So we have to find, like, go for the throat for Jin. Oh, Chad Holt. Okay, so plan is hope to hit a spell off of this, so it's a two turn clock. We have to hit a spell, though. Please, for the love of God, hit a spell. Spell, 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 spell. Spell, please. Fuck. God damn it. Uh fuck. That's bad. Well, I mean I have to do this. That makes things really awkward. Is there five? This is a this is this game's a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. No, the creature lane only has Death Touch, not Evasion. I do have Reef. Yeah, but if they play any spell, they can just Chump Block, right? Which, they have any spell. Well, them bricking off of that is fucking massive. That's an insane brick. Okay. They're dead? How are they dead? are they dead? What am I missing? They're definitely not dead. <laughs> Next turn? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, question is, do I hold up Reef or do I bounce Coat? I think I'm maybe supposed to bounce Coat. 
I don't know what the difference is. Hold up, Reef. Well, the nice thing about Bouncing Coat is this has Ward. So, oh, oh, right, but if I have to block with the coat, then it's bad. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, that's this is better. Yeah, I can also hold the Reef the Casualty, maybe. Okay, that doesn't matter. Wow. Did not think I was going to win that game. <sighs> Shit. Okay, so this matchup is kind of weird, because Deluge is good against Mentor, but it's really bad against Jin. So I'm not sure how many Deluges I want. Uh, command is absurd, because Command gets everything, right? Command cleans up the tokens and the Jin. Counterspell's bad. Cut down, I think, is good, because they have Shredder and Mentor. Duress is probably decent, too. Is there anything that's bad against them? What do we cut? My Shredders are good. I can probably cut the Dream Thieves. The Dream Thieves are whatever. Tie Biter is decent against Mentor, yeah. How good is Make Disappear? Their, their spells are all pretty cheap, huh? I can see that card being bad. I think Schooner's bad. I was kind of thinking the same thing. And we do, like, Tide Binders and a couple Deluges. Like, two Tide Binder, two Deluge. It's a lot of threes. How can you say no bad cards? Because we're not playing Invasion of Amonkek. Urtai's not great, but it is a nice answer to a big gin. It's expensive, though. All right, let's keep two Schooners. Let's try that. <clears throat> we took the blue-black deck... And I cut the bad cards, and that's why it's blue, black, no bad cards. See what I did there? You know, it turns out your deck is a lot better when you remove the bad cards. I mean, a lot of people seem to disagree with me, but I will die on the hill that Invasion of Amiket is terrible. I, I despise that card. Hmm. Interesting. Should probably kill the Shredder, right? Taking the test out to two to the chests. Dilt. <laughs> Fuck, now it's a 2 4. How do I beat that? Uh. Shit. Well, now what? Huh. I guess I'm just playing coat. Yep, coat. Maybe I shouldn't have cast that. Maybe I should have just played bat. Probably should have played bat that turn. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, that's good. I'll cast that. That one is pretty good. I mean, I don't know how we're beating the Mentor, but... We gotta find a Gex's Command. He was never really one of the guys. Do I map, or do I Siren? If I Siren, I trigger Shredder. I think I'm supposed to map to get closer to Command... I maybe should have mapped pre-combat. Just got here, why do I dislike it? It's just like, I dislike Invasion of Amonkhet for the same reason that I don't like Appraiser. It's just like, you're spending a lot of mana and not really impacting the board that much. I don't know, I just, I don't really understand the concept behind it. It's very clunky, you're like, you're, you're spending three mana. Sure, it's a good grindy card, but I don't know, it's just... Never never been a big fan of that card. And I've played it. Like, when that deck first became popular, I tried it, and it was horrendous every time I had it. Maybe it's a small sample size. No attacks? Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, I guess we bat. See what they have a spell. Find out what's going on over there. If I force the spell here, I can cut down the mentor in response. We'll stay up two spells. Dude, Shredder's gas. What are you talking about? Don't hate on Shredder, man. 
Okay, they marched, targeting Gix, Mentor, Siren. Okay, well, I'm going to respond. Yeah, Shredder is busted. Why do, why do people think Shredder is a bad card? I don't understand. You're going to tell me that Shredder is bad and Invasion of Abankek is good? Like, what are, what are we doing here? What's going on? What is what is going on here? <laughs> I don't I don't get it. Chat's crazy. Yeah, Ahmed Keck doesn't even trigger Shredder. Like, what are we doing here? I have Odawar in hand. Um Combat, I guess. Deck. You get an extra cast trigger when you flip, though. Oh, right. They can just do that. I mean, whatever. We got the go to war out of their hand. It's kind of fine. Yeah. I'm not going to play the Siren, because I don't want to trigger Shredder before I can find a go for the throw. <laughs> that is true. What if we played Shredder and Appraiser in the same deck? I don't know. Like, here's the thing, right? Even in the best case scenario where you're going like one drop, two drop invasion of Amonkhet, even if you're even if you have the opportunity to flip it that turn, it's like, what are you really accomplishing by flipping it that turn on curve? There's going to be nothing in the graveyard that turn. So it's like you're it feels like you're doing all of this work for a card that just like it just doesn't accomplish that much. I don't know. Like, it's, it's kind of hard for me to give an argument on why it's good, or why it's bad, but it's also, I have not heard an argument of why people say it's good. I'm going to flip this up now. Just in case they double spell on their turn. Sure, it's like, there there are specific matchups where it's really good. If your opponent has large things that you want to get into the graveyard, it does make a lot of sense, but... You know, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of those matchups, you know. <clears throat> and also, like, you're only giving me the best case scenario, you know. You're giving me the scenario where you, uh, like, you the invasion mills over some sicko creature. It's like, oh, I cast my invasion, they build an Atraxa, and I have five power in play to immediately flip the invasion. But, like, what happens when you just mill a bunch of lands and there's nothing in the graveyard to copy. It's just, I don't know. It's just, it's there. It's, it's a high variance card in a deck that I don't think needs to have high variance cards. Like you can just play good cards instead of hoping that you get lucky and hit something good off of your invasion. That's the point that I'm making. You know what I mean? And it's the exact same argument with appraiser. It's like you're playing appraiser because you're in your head. You're thinking about the best case scenario. Ha 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 